Hey everybody, it's the fifth Saturday of the month. And we didn't even know what we were going to do until we were at the Fern Creek in Western today. And our friend Trevor had an idea of something we could do for our fifth Saturday of the month. What are we going to do, Trevor? Well, today we're going to take a train all the way from the yard in uh, Parkston all the way around the railroad to Ericsville. And it's going to be uh, a train powered by two consolidation locomotives uh, in helper service. And we're also going to show the switching of the train to get ready to head over the hill. Sounds like fun. What's the first step? Well, the first step is to pull engine number five, which is actually Dan's two-truck Shea, uh, out of the engine service facility to go start switching cars in the Parkston freight yard. So as the train's backing up, we're going to ask Dan a little bit about this. This is a two-truck Shea that I don't remember if I've seen before. Dan, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about it? Uh, well, this was my first large-scale locomotive. It's a Bachman two-truck Shea that I got in 1997. And uh, I've done a lot of repairs and modifications on it and recently converted it to battery power with an air wire receiver and a Loksound 4.0 XL decoder and uh, looks and sounds and runs pretty well. I also changed the headlights on it uh, from the original headlights to some uh, Ozark Miniatures headlights that are lit with LEDs. So now number five is just about ready to clear the far switch for the yard throat and we're gonna line the switch ahead of it and then come into the uh, freight yard to pick up uh, the cars. All right, so now we're going to back onto the first siding and grab the tank car as well as the other box cars that are there because we have to grab those to get the tank car anyway. And then we're going to run around the tank car. And shove down to the engine service facility. All right, so now that we have both tank cars, we're going to swap the uh, Pacific Coast tank car with the Oxide Red tank car. and then take the oxide red tank car back to the yard to put it in the train that will go over the mountain. All right, so now that we've grabbed the tank car uh, from the engine service facility, we're gonna put it on the train that's gonna go over the hill and we're gonna switch the rest of that train out. So we're gonna show a high speed version of that being done and you'll see all the cars moving around the yard to make up this train. So now we've added everything to the train except the caboose, but before we can add the caboose, uh, we have to put our helper on the rear of the train. And that's what Paul's doing right now. He's out there with the remote. We're going to put the C19 on the back of the train, and then we're going to couple the caboose to the back of the engine, and then put number five over on the yard throat to get out of the way. All right, so now the head end unit, engine number 13, is moving out onto the line, and we're going to put it on the head of the train, so it'll be the lead unit, and then all the cars will be in between the two engines. 
Number 13 is an outside frame 280 consolidation locomotive. It's a Bachmann product. The number 12 on the rear of the train is a Bachmann Spectrum C19 locomotive, which is also a 280 consolidation, but it's inside frame instead of outside frame. The outside frame engine has the big counterweights on it that swing around as the engine goes down the track, but the inside frame unit has the frame inside the driving wheel, so it doesn't need counterweights. All right, so now that our train is made up, we're going to head out of the Parkston yard for the Parkston Y. And in the process, we have to head through town. And we're going to have to turn the train in order to go over the hill. But once we turn the train, the train will head over the hill to Ericsville. All right, so now we're going to back through the Y. And uh, this will turn the train around so that we can head over the hill to Ericsville. So now as you can see, we're facing the other way. Now we can head over the mountain to Ericsville. All right, so now the uh, train is heading downgrade, and we've cut uh, C19 number 12 off at the top of the hill, which is uh, log camp number 2. That's the uh, summit of the railroad. And uh, now number 13 is solely leading the train downgrade into Ericsville. So now the train is pulling into Ericsville Yard, and uh, this is going to be the end of our journey around the Fern Creek and Western with the uh, big freight train. We don't usually run trains this big on the Fern Creek and Western, and uh, a lot of the derailments in the high-speed shot at the yard probably shows why. Big trains are definitely a hard thing to operate, but they're a lot of fun and make for some great pictures. So if you liked what you saw running on the Fern Creek and Western today, you can uh, attend our upcoming open house, which is on August 13th, 2017, uh, at the Fern Creek and Western, which is located at 419 Ocean View Avenue in Santa Cruz. And it's from 11 o'clock a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. And uh, you, you yourself can see the Fern Creek and Western in operation with tons of trains running and uh, probably John and Dan, too. So... Um, uh, yeah, we hope to see you out here, and uh, stay tuned on our free popcorn and prizes for everyone. No. Um, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, you can see the Fern Creek and Western operation, and you can also check out our uh, Facebook page, which is uh, the Fern Creek and Western Garden Railroad Facebook group. And you can also look at our website, which is fcwgrr.com. And there you can get updates for open houses in the future and what we're doing on the railroad. So we hope you check all that out, and we hope to see you at one of our events in the future.